Proton 1000, you already know what to do, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, and let's get it. Cut the music, cut the music, cut the goddamn music. Yeah, what up, yo, Bro Talk 1000, at y'all again. So, there's only two people you can pick to win a fight. Uh, I'm talking to my to my comment section, man. There's only two people you can pick in a fight. If you pick one wrong, guess what? A whole bunch of people gonna call you a casual, a hater, and tell you that you don't know shit about boxing. If you pick the other one and you get it wrong, guess what? You're still a hater, a casual, and you don't know shit about boxing. So somebody said, oh man, I'm I'm gonna get my picks like he was being sarcastic, I guess. Oh, I'm going to get my picks from Bro Talk 1000 from now on. Ha ha ha. I'm unsubbing. Okay. Okay. I got the pick wrong. And guess what? I still got five more subscribers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, bye bye. And I got five more subscribers. Some people on the internet is just weird. Like, maybe I need to do one of those, uh, one of those disclaimers like the wire, like like Richard the wire does on the beginning of his videos. You know what I'm saying? The advice, the this is advice from a complete stranger online. Like, nigga, if you getting fucking betting gambling advice from some nigga you don't even know on YouTube, then you need the you need to seek counseling to help, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a dude with an opinion on YouTube, son. I didn't tell you to bet your rent money. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell you to bet your rent money. Bet your kid's birthday money. I didn't tell you to do that. You the one who sat down at the table with your wife and was like, look, honey, bro talk says we can make as much money. We can make all of this money. Look, he's a he's a he's a a, a plus 700. I think we can do it. Oh, he's a minus 700. I think we can do it. Whatever the fucking odds were, I don't even know. Bro, if you bet your kid's birthday money, you should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of yourself. Now go smack yourself in the head and go sit down. But before you go sit down, hit that subscribe button because I need subscribers. Damn. Don't matter who I would have picked. I would have been had a whole whole goddamn comment section up my fucking ass anyway. <sighs> Got me turned up, man. Got me turned up. I apologize for that shit, man. But anyway, let's talk about the fight, man. Let's talk about the fight. <sighs> All right, anyway. Yo, shout out to Terrence Crawford, man. Shout out to Terrence Crawford. I have to say that because these commenters in your comment section, apparently they don't hear when you say good shit about the other fighter that lost. You pick, I picked Kell Brook, but they didn't hear me say, say, <clears throat> excuse me, they didn't hear me say if Crawford wins, he's my number one pound for pound. They didn't hear that part. They didn't hear me say Terrence Crawford is in my top three pound for pound. Never said Kell Brook was. But they, they don't remember that shit. All they remember is, 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 is the guy that I picked lost. So now I'm all type of all types of casuals and don't know shit about boxing. Man, shut the shut up and hit the subscribe button. Damn, man. Let me calm down again. <sighs> calm down. Calm down. All right. All right. Where were we? Okay, the fight. So Terrence Crawford, right? Terrence Crawford was getting outboxed, out jabbed early, right? Kell Brook had a beautiful, was throwing a beautiful jab out there, beating him easy the first two rounds. Third round, Terrence Crawford stepped it up. Fourth round, uh, Terrence Crawford hit him with a straight right hand, I believe from the south pole position. Uh, straight right hand landed, and it knocked Kell silly. He went all wobbly legs through the ropes. Uh... Uh, 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 you know, the ref did a standing eight count, came back and did it again. I'm pretty sure y'all seen a fight by now. I ain't got to do the damn play by play. It was, it was a stoppage. It was a stoppage. Can't, Terrence Crawford came back, you know, threw a couple onslaughts, punches, doom, 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 doom. Referee stops the fight. Nothing to really talk about. But what we need to talk about 
is what the hell was that shit we just watched, bro? Because ain't no way a dude coming up from 160, I mean, coming down from 160, uh, uh, off of three fights at 154 and all of this shit, looking jacked, ripped, healthy, you know what I'm saying? Doing doing well in the first, first couple rounds like that, you get knocked out by that shit? Go back and watch that fight, ladies and gentlemen. Go back and watch that punch. Man, listen, Kel Brook, Kel Brook became a quitter once he fought Gennady Golovkin. He got the taste of what it's like to quit, and he just he just wanted to ride that wave. Shit, why finish fights? Why be in here for 36 minutes when I could be in here for about 15, 15, 20, you know what I'm saying, and get a couple milli and be on my way? See, that's why I don't gamble on professional sports, because you never know what the fuck going to happen. I don't gamble on sports, period. But that's why, because you never know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just saying. I'm not saying this is true, but I'm just saying. Look at it like this. Let's do a whole what if scenario. What if Bob Arum offered Kell Brook $7 million, right? So two million is what we're gonna tell you, but we're gonna give you an extra five million on the back end, right? To just go ahead and just take this dive, bro. Vasil Lomachenko is no longer in the in the top pound for pound rankings. He just lost. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make we're gonna make Crawford the new the new dude, and we're gonna sell. Now we're gonna push for and sell this Errol Spence fight. Now we're going to push for it and we're going to sell it. Know what I'm saying? Because um, Kell Brook ain't got much left in him. Kell Brook, you know you ain't got much left in you, brother. All right? So just here, shut up, be quiet. Take this $7 million, Know what I'm saying? Go back across the pond. You don't get hurt too bad. We don't get hurt. Everybody's good. And, and we, we keep it pushing. Everybody's happy. How that sound? Sounds great, yeah. It sounds it sounds great, yeah. Cool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying what if. I'm just saying what if. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm not saying that's real. I'm just saying what if. You know what I mean? But anyway, with that being said, listen, listen. I don't want to get more hate than I'm already getting. So let me go ahead and give Terrence Crawford his credit. I said in my previous videos that when, if or when Crawford wins, he is pound for pound number one on my list because it has to be, you got to be a bad mother, a, you got to be a bad dude to beat somebody like Kell Brook. I'm not making no excuses for Kell Brook. I don't care about the titanium plates in his face. I don't care about him, him him draining himself. I ain't saying that he draining himself. I'm just saying, whatever the excuses can be, I'm not making them. I'm not making them for Terrence Crawford, but I'm just a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. You know, I can't help that. It's in my nature, you know. That shit just didn't look right to me, and I'm going to just go ahead and say it. I'm going to go ahead and say it. It is what it is, you know. I don't get no... I don't, I didn't bet any money. I don't have any stake in any of these fighters really like that. You know what I'm saying? And picking a, picking a wrong bet on a, on a YouTube channel, just me saying, oh, I'm going to, you know, making a bad prediction. That's nothing. That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not, I don't have that much of an ego to try to make an excuse for me being wrong about a prediction. <laughs> It's just a prediction video. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, to the people who, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm going to unsubscribe. Great. Because the dude, a dude came like it, like as if I'm giving out gambling advice over here or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He going to talk about he's unsubscribing. I turn around, I get five more subscribers because he unsubscribed. So shit, you know, let me see how the numbers keep working. You dig like, but it's all good, man. For the real, for the real subscribers or the real people who watching my channel, man, who who is logic, logical, non biased. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is just, it's just fun on YouTube, baby, for me. But y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. The truth, 
about Crawford versus Brooke, man. And I don't think we saw exactly what we saw. I don't think we saw exactly what we watched, if that makes sense. But once again, for the third or the fourth time now, shout out to Terrence Crawford. Pound for a pound, number one. Know what I'm saying? Did I did y'all hear me? Or do I have to say it again? Damn, man. <sighs> Bro Talk 1000. I'm out.